Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo here, getting ready to do your love reading. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, all Virgos. Welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, welcome and please do hit the like, share and subscribe button if you enjoy this video. Um, personal reading links are below in the description box and you can also follow me on Instagram at House of Virgo. All right, all the links are below. Okay, Virgo, let's get started. See what your love messages are here. Virgo, Virgo, let's see. Okay, past position, you have the chariot, the eight of swords, oh, and the five of cups. Hmm. Um, so this is basically your person's energy. And then the present is the ace of swords, two of pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Future, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Okay. So, hmm. Well, I'm definitely seeing whomever you might have been connecting with in the past. There was some kind of movement forward. <clears throat> some action and change was taking place or had taken place in the past position with someone hmm that is cancer energy and we also have leo aries and sagittarius here um some kind of journey and you know like a some kind of start somebody was like <sighs> I don't know if you had somebody travel to you or someone visit you, but there was movement and there was something changing. But then with this Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups, whew, just a feeling of like self-sabotage and regret as well. It could have been <clears throat> there was a good intention to move something forward in the past, but... Somebody got stuck here and just couldn't get themselves out of some mental. I just feel like strife or some type of like mental restrictions or. And because of that, there was regret and loss. Okay. There was something that might have been lost in the past. Like something didn't move forward. The intention was there to move forward, but something didn't move forward because of maybe somebody was like regretting a past relationship or had this feeling of like a fear of being abandoned or a fear of not being worthy or of being unloved. Intentions were there. Intentions were good. Let's take a look at this chariot and see what the message is here for the chariot. Okay, Knight of Wands. Yeah, action and change. Somebody was really passionate about you in the past. This person, very lusty, physical attraction. I mean, that was what was driving this person to come towards you. But why is this Eight of Swords here? Okay, yeah, a lot of hesitation. This five of cups just didn't think that they just didn't think that they could affect true change. And I feel like it was something within them. Okay. Something within their um, psyche. Okay. And there may have, they may have let you go in the past. And there is a sense with that person in the past that they have regret about that. Because to them, they did see that you were like a good egg, you know. You were like their lucky rabbit's foot. Like they were very lucky to meet you or to be with you. But I feel like they just couldn't make it happen. Healing family issues here. Something to do with their parents. It could have been like their upbringing. Or, or maybe the sense of not feeling worthy. You know, um, I talk a lot about... Uh, the attachment styles. Um, I feel like <clears throat> a lot of their their stuff heals or came from family 
the way they were raised or their primary caregiver, the way they were treated, right? It's a very psychological thing, but that's what, when you have healing family issues, that, that's something to do with like a trauma-based situation and a lot of healing need, needing to happen with family. It might be something that they felt like they weren't able to heal these past traumas or things like that. Yeah, coming to terms that they deserve love. Okay, and they're lovable. I don't feel like your person felt that about themselves, that they were worthy of love, right? They want it so much, but it seems like with that Eight of Swords, they were really like restricted and always hesitant, you know, just had this hesitation about them. Let's take a look at the present with this person. Okay, free yourself. Wow. Let go of control issues. Wow. So this person, your person, whoever they are, um, they're definitely letting go of their, whatever control issues they had, okay? Hesitation, that kind of thing can, can be a form of control, making, if they made you wait, if you felt like you were always waiting or something. I'm seeing communication coming in from someone here. It could be a fire sign. Um, but there's an element here of like, this person is really balancing themselves out right now. Um, balancing their emotions, thinking about the partnership, communication here, like a new beginning. Like I feel this person's going to, this is a card of initiation. I feel like they're going to initiate communication with you if they haven't already to try to have victory in this relationship, to try to overcome um, any conflicts. There's mental clarity coming here for them. And that Queen of Wands uh, taking on the persona, if they aren't a fire sign, but taking on the persona, persona of someone who is feisty and confident and having reassurance, self-assurance. Hmm. Yeah, they're weighing things out. Definitely. Coming back into balance. Let's take a look at this Ace of Swords. Okay, yeah. Karma. Wow. Wake up call. This person is like, boom. Boom. In the present, waking up. Clarity, again, two clarity cards. You know, coming to a final decision. You know, what's their purpose in life? And that's judgment here. That's like coming clean. Coming out and opening up to you. Telling you their, their story, their history, their truths their obstacles and opening up about it and whatever obstacles you might have had and talking about it, finding a way to like slice through those problems. What's the two of pentacles is here for the moon. Yeah. This person has like emotional ups and downs for sure. It might be a little unstable, emotionally unstable. Um, trying to balance the emotions. That's what the moon's about. And these things that are unseen or hidden in their, their psyche and down that affect their emotions. So we also have now, we have Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Pisces. Okay, getting in touch, balancing out the emotions, definitely getting neutral but it feels like they're trying to free themselves right now because i feel like letting go of control issues they're allowing the situation to unfold naturally like just starting up some communication with you and part of the control issue was holding back trying to self-control being hesitant self-protective energy okay let's see this queen of wands queen of wands and the queen of cups okay might have been some connection with a sister um, and a mother. Uh, something, I feel like there's something going on with that. Oh, my goodness. And the Queen of Wands again. Hmm. Something to do also with other women. making a decision. Hmm. This person might have been um, or might be currently looking at other women in their life or looking at, the, at a dating thing. Okay. Or, or 
trying to make a decision really about how they feel about you or if you know show me what's going on with these queens because we have three queens here okay eight of pentacles wow and eight of wands i feel like your person is um freeing yourself from other women in their life and that could also include dominant women in their life as well Hmm. They're making some plans here, for sure. I'm seeing travel. I'm seeing travel for work. I feel like they are getting some type of communication from other women in their life. And I feel like right now, They're freeing themselves from these other women is what I feel like. It's really bizarre. Let me see what else can you tell me about these queens. Okay. There's that golden egg, you know? The Ace of Pentacles here. Seeking a new opportunity. Seeking, uh, looking for their golden egg. I feel like that's you, Virgo. <clears throat> There's just this sense of, like, they feel like they would regret if they don't try something here with you. There may be others who are interested in them, and I feel like there are. Somehow, some way, could be connected to work, connected to travel, um, connected to commerce, that kind of thing. Um, there may be others that are showing interest or, or are there in their life. But I feel like, here's the death card. I feel like they're, they're not going to go forward with them. They're not, they're not going to make the move because there's a communication coming in here with you and an opening up and giving you some truths about how they feel that, and may even be telling you that they were just emotionally imbalanced um, and they really didn't know what they wanted or, or they may tell you that, but they also may say to you that they just really had a lot of family stuff and they just didn't think that they like they wanted so much to be in partnership with you but they just didn't think that they were able to do it so let's take a look and see what the future energies are here for you and your person worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and passion allow your heart to, and soul to sing with joy okay so there's definitely a timing thing happening here, okay? I feel like there's going to be communication, but there's a process here. This person's definitely taking back control of their life, but they, I do feel like they want to see how things go with you. <clears throat> but it's not um, like an overnight thing. I feel like going forward, um, look, they're completely single. So in this time of like opening up and communicating with you and trying to sort out some conflicts or whatever is happening here in the present, um, there's an energy here of um, letting go of the idea that they have to have other people and that, you know what I mean, like as a backup or something, I, I feel like like strange in case things don't work out with you. I feel like they're aware that things can and will work out with you, okay? And, and just you. They don't really feel like there is anybody else for them. And I feel like they, they've, you know, in the present, they are seeing and they are checking things out still. But they're also, what's paralleled with that is their, the depth of emotion that they feel for you. Yep. Page of Cups. They want that new love with you. So they're going through something. It feels, sometimes when I look at the death card, I always feel like dark night of the soul. 
and they're definitely going through something and they're there for some reason in the present i do see there are other women around them could be influence and when i say women i mean it could be men as well if you're a male listening but when i say an influence it could be like a female's presence or influence in their life um, it could be family or just like a narrative. It could also just be um, other women that they are talking to romantically where um, it, there's just this, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of seeing like, like, you know how an earthquake, like a slip, you know, how it grinds when it goes, like there's an incongruency here that there's, there's picking up and they're sensing like, they feel like that's what they want to do, but then it's like, wait, that's not what I want to do, and why am I doing this? That kind of thing. So the present energy is like, this person is going to sit here single and wait to come into union with you going forward, okay? I feel like you are their choice, and they see you here, Virgo, as that and that's your card as well the nine of pentacles they see you as someone who is you know um very like self-sufficient and stable and that you're enjoying your life and you're quite you know enjoying your solo life if you're single and you're just like okay you know you're just doing okay and it's very attractive you're not this card you're not in a place of need see when the nine of pentacles is reversed there's like workaholism jealousy envy financial setbacks um you're not in that you're just they see your person is looking at you and they see that you're like doing your thing you know this is this can be a card of self-love you know um and the nines are always about accomplishments, you know, and, and you understand yourself and you understand others and, and you're taking good care of yourself and they see that. And that two of cups here, that's romantic love, proposal or marriage and partnership. And this person, like I said, they're going to wait for you because they believe that you're worth waiting for and it's only a matter of time. They have an extreme amount of passion for you. Very passionate about you. Let's take more on this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, see, you've got the hanged man here on you and this person as well. So there's like a, like they're seeing you in a different light is what I'm saying, or they will be going forward. They just have this different view of you. I don't know what's going on. Something you said, something you did, I'm not sure. There might be in the present some communication that they give you or you give them or that's something that's said that <clears throat> wakes them up to love or in, like inspire something in their heart about you. And we got Pisces again. So um, this is like, I don't feel like your person truly ever looked at you in this way before but they're having some kind of wake-up call with a karma card that judgment and i feel like they just have a different view of you now so the two of wands or will excuse me i say now in the present but going forward the other view their mindset about you is changing and it's very positive they've grown wise <laughs> they've gotten wiser okay two of wands I'm so over and the three of wands on top of that. So there's an element here of wanting a reunion. I'm sorry, three of cups. Um, they want your support. They're waiting for that, but they want your um, they want your friendship as well and the love. And I feel like they they very much hope that you will give them support and and so they could give it to you as well do you know what i mean like it just feels like this person is like when the time is right like they're gonna stand there and just wait for you there's a globe here so some of you might be at a distance to each other but they're holding that wand of growth for you they're, they have theirs and he's got that white flag so that's an element of surrender here 
And they're just waiting for you to come and take up your, your ace of wands, your one wand. They're waiting for you to initiate in return. They will be. Okay. And, you know, in the reverse, and I just feel like I need to point this out. I'm sorry. In the reverse, when we're just talking about the one wand, they've got theirs. In the reverse... It would represent rejection, false starts, and delays. But in the upright, it's just like, yes. It's just like being inspired. No false starts. No more false starts. No more delays. They're ready to go. And as soon as you're ready to go, because I don't know if you are. <laughs> you Maybe you were waiting for them. But as soon as they bring that to you, I feel like it's on. Because there is romantic love here from both sides. Here's the five of wands. Wow. <laughs> I feel like this person is going to compete. For some reason, I don't know why they may feel that there might be, maybe you have somebody else in the picture or somebody else coming in. We don't see that here. Maybe you have a friendship they know about or something. And I just feel like with that five of wands, energy you know they will try to uh, it feels like a rivalry <laughs> oh lovely here's the emperor as you guys know he's always present in my readings so yeah this person is going to try to like fight off any suitors you might have that emperor that's aries energy you know he shows up um in the masculine form even if it's female the emperor shows up as like a respected leader he's strategic he's above board he's responsible you know and this person i feel like i don't know they just kind of get in that emperor energy about themselves like very mature doesn't have an ego problem or power control issues. Well, not anymore because this person's letting go of control issues. They might have been the emperor in the reverse where they were very immature. Okay. He's a good planner. You know, and I feel like your person is coming through and is really just going to try to, will compete. They will compete for anyone that you may try to, um, or that you may be with. Or that you might, like if you're with someone now, they may try to compete for your love or try to like be with you again, which might be something you want, maybe not. Yeah, for some of you, this is the father of your children. <laughs> I just have to say, and I know some of you are like, no, 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 that's done. And it doesn't have to be that airy sign, but there's something here. There's a lot of opening up in the present. And a beautiful, maybe even apology coming to you and a lot of sharing of the emotions, but very sweet, lovely sharing. Let's take a look and see what your person's love energy is here. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, there's some fear with this person and regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. That might have something to do with this apology is coming in. And this is a true love connection. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So I do feel like your person really does love you. Oh, look, I wish you would come back. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. I don't know if they're going to tell you that, but I do feel like that's, you know, that running theme in their emotions, how they're feeling about you. So many things remind me of you, Virgo. You speak to me through music. That seems to be a common theme in, in these cards for me. I want to be more than friends. Wow. Virgo. Now, if this is someone from your past, from a long time ago they haven't been with, like this could be their energy, but this could also be someone that you're like, your heart's with right now, that you're not with them. And I feel like this person wants to like go um, from a friendship type of a thing or casual or what have you. Like it's catching feelings and, and letting go and freeing themselves and vulnerability. You can be completely open 
with this person so i feel like your person is going to be very open with you and if someone's being very open with you then that's a sign that you can be open in return okay um <clears throat> but yeah that's what i have for you so i hope that was helpful in some way it was a very nice reading um so i'm gonna leave this here for you and i will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to hit like share and subscribe on the video and on my channel i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you guys later Take care.